Hello, Heritage of Faith. Welcome back uh, once again for just an encouraging word. Uh, you know, as we've seen everything that's happening in our world and the things going around us, I'm telling you, we need to continue to be looking up and setting our affections on things above. Why? Because Jesus told us in the last days that men's hearts would fail because of fear and because they're looking at the things that are coming on the earth. Not because of the things coming on the earth, but they're looking at the things that are coming on the earth. You know, the Apostle Paul was communicating to Timothy and he, he was always encouraging him uh, in his walk of faith. And one of the things he told him, and, and he told him, he said, you know what? Even though I'm facing these things, I'm not ashamed. Why? He said, because I know in whom I have believed. Not in what I believe, I know in whom I have believed. So that lets us know that in this season, what's happening in our lives, whatever might be going on, are you cultivating that personal relationship with the Word, with your Heavenly Father, with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit? I'm telling you, it's out of that you will be strong. The Apostle Paul also communicated to young Timothy, and he told Timothy, God hasn't given you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. I believe the Apostle Paul was probably reading Timothy's mail and was picking up something in his heart saying, Timothy wants to give up. Timothy wants to quit. Timothy wants to throw in the towel. And that's why he told Timothy, look, God hasn't get, what you're experiencing and what you're feeling did not come from God. Why? Because God has given you, Timothy, power, love, and a sound mind. And I want to encourage you in the same way. You might feel discouraged. You might feel overwhelmed. You might feel anxious today. But I want, to know, want you to know that God hasn't given you a spirit of fear. But he's given you power, love, and a sound mind. You know, Jesus, as I look at the life of Jesus, Jesus had to live a life of trust. Jesus totally submitted himself to the Father. I'm reminded of something he told us in John chapter 16. He tells the disciples, he says, in the world, you have tribulation. He said, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world and I've deprived its power to harm you. But right before that, he told, he told them, he said, you know, everyone's left me alone. But yet he said, I'm not alone. He said, the father's with me. Man, what a, think about it. Jesus placed his total trust. Even though things were happening all around him, he said, the father is with me. I'm also, I want to go to a scripture in Hebrews chapter 2. And it tells us in Hebrews chapter 2, verse 8, it says, For you have put everything in subjection under his feet. Talking about man. Now putting everything in subjection to man, that's me and you, he left nothing outside of man's control. That's me and you. But at present, we do not yet see all things subjected to man. But then he says, but we're able to see Jesus. Meaning he put everything under man's feet, but we're not seeing everything under man's feet, but we can see Jesus. Now, when it says we're able to see Jesus, yeah, we can look at it this way, that even though uh, I haven't seen this situation turn yet, I'm still looking at Jesus. But what we really need to see is how did Jesus live his life? Because Jesus lived his life with the same aspect of trust that we need to. So take the time to read at some point down from chapter eight, verse eight, all the way down to verse 16. But in verse 13, it says this. And again, he says, this is Jesus. And again, he says, my trust and assured reliance and confident hope shall be fixed in him. So how are we able to see Jesus? Jesus said this. It says that my confidence and trust is fixed in him. Yet again, here I am, I and the children whom God has given me. So Jesus lived with that same, the same aspect of trust. So as we look at our world around us and things are unstable and things are shaken, what do we need to do? We need to set our affection on things above. We need to know whom we have believed and we need to have a, a trust in him, a immovable, a heart fixed on his word and fixed on his promises. I'm telling you, Herod, your faith, you are a winner in life. You are overcoming and the best is yet to come. God bless. Till next time.